Welcome to the Cabinet Learning Series. The topic this month is Share. I'm going to go through a brief PowerPoint to introduce you to what Share is, and then we'll show you a demonstration and get into some training on how to set it up. First of all, um, a lot of our customers have a need to share documents that are in SAFE with people outside of SAFE, and that's what we allow you to do with Share. It's a secure system, it's web-based, and it's very simple to use for you and your contacts. Um, let's walk you through kind of how it works. If you've got documents in a client folder or vendor folder, for example, in SAFE, you can share those out to an external user. So you select the documents, you share them. Uh, share sends an email to notify the people that you have uh, shared the documents with. They'll receive an email. They can click on a link. They'll log in using their login name and password and access documents on the secure portal. Security is always a concern. Uh, all the documents are encrypted uh, in transfer and at rest. Uh, shares license separately from SAFE, so uh, it does require a share user license. Uh, passwords are encrypted, and we also automatically expire documents or allow you to set expiration policies so the documents are deleted after whatever period you deem necessary. It, so as we've said, it's a secure way to share documents from SAFE with external people. Uh, it was built into SAFE starting at version 8. Uh, it is licensed separately, so the people that you want to be able to share documents will require a share license. Um, so a share user basically has to be a SAFE user, but a SAFE user does not necessarily have to have a share license. We use subscription-based pricing. Um, and we'd be happy to um, help you get registered. You can just send an email uh, to help desk or contact your reseller and we'll assist you that way. Pricing is very simple. It's $10 a month per share user. Um, we do it via automatic credit card and we're we'll offer a, a 30 day free trial if you would like to try it out. So let's get into the product and have a look at what share is. So if you're in SAFE and in this case, uh, I'm going to go into a client's folder. I'm going to pick a folder, open it up, and let's say I want to share a document. I can pick any document in that folder, right-click, and share. When you click, when you cl click on the share button, what's going to open up is a, an address book. This is an address book that's specific to each user. For this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and share this document with myself so you can see how it works. You can put in a comment or a note that will go along with that document. And that note will stay with this shared document. When you click on share, we've now initiated the process to notify that person or group of people uh, that you've shared a document with them. Notice that the default expiration here is 90 days. Uh, you can change that to whatever you want it to be on a per document basis if you'd like. So now that document has been shared out. You can see here the status is complete. And the next thing we'll do is we'll go take a look at um, what it looks like in that person's inbox. So I can go to my inbox and refresh. And you can see that I have, uh, I'm just going to give it just a second to update my inbox. You can see that I just received a new item. It's this item. When I open that, I'm going to have a message that tells me to click on this link. And this is the default message. We'll show you at the end of this training how you can uh, set these messages up to be however you like. But I can click on that link, and it's going to ask me to put in a username and password. Now, in this case, I've used this person has used Share before. So when they first get the first document that's shared with them, they will get a message to go in and set up their username and password. But in this case, I've already done that, so I just go ahead and put in my username and password, and it's going to take me to the portal. So this is the share portal. Uh, important thing to note here, these documents are actually copies of the documents from SAFE. So when a person looks at a document here, they're not looking at the actual document in SAFE, but a copy that's on the portal. You can see that over on the left, you've got a folder structure. Each of your customers that you share documents with can actually uh, modify this. They can create new folders and subfolders. They can delete folders. You can see that I have a folder here called Shares. 
I've got some documents and you can see that the document that I just shared is right here at the top. So if I want to look at that document, I can click on download, open it. In this case, it's a PDF, so it's just going to open right up with Adobe. So it's very easy to get to that document. Of course, I could also um, save that document locally. Uh, the other thing that your share users can do is they can upload files to send to you. So I would just click on upload, and then like most web-based applications, you're going to browse out to the file that you want to share. Pick that document. And what we allow you to do is pick the user you want to share with and then add a note. And upload. So now that file is being uploaded from the portal to that user that your customer selected. You can see that this file was uh, shared with John Clark. So that's a quick look at what's in the um, portal itself. Very easy to use, simple and streamlined for your customers. Um, let's go take a look now uh, at the Share tab in Safe. So back in Safe, as a user, you have, you'll notice up here at the top, you've got a tab for Share. It, that'll be grayed out if you don't have a Share license. And you can see at the top is the document that I just shared with John Clark. You can see the status is new. That means John hasn't uh, looked at it yet. And you can also see here's the note with a date and time stamp that came along with that document. Um, a lot of features built right in here into this share tab in SAFE. The, the main thing I like about it is it gives you a way to see if your, doc, if your customers or partners have looked at the documents that you've shared with them. It also gives you a way to control those documents. So if you want to uh, delete a document that's been shared previously, you can select that document, you can right click and delete it, and that document now comes off the portal. So it gives you a lot of control over those documents that you're sharing with your customers. Uh, again, on the right click, I chose to delete that document. You can also, if, if for example, a customer sent me a document, it's not filed in safe yet, it's still on the portal, but if I right click and save to safe, it's going to bring up the familiar file or utility that you've all used before. So you just tell it where you want to file that document. We'll skip that step for now. So this is the uh, Share tab built into SAFE. Um, some more options that are built into this. We'll kind of get into some of the training elements uh, at this point. Um, what I want to show you first is some of the admin capabilities. So this is very powerful. We allow you to, now again, I'm logging as the, as the as the system administrator. So only the administrator is going to have this capability. Under the uh, this drop down, I picked uh, administration and I put in my password and now I get these admin tools. This allows you to really customize uh, the look and feel of the email messages as well as the branding on the portal. So uh, you notice for example I put in my own subject that I want to show up in every email that goes to customers. Now the default is new share emails and what I put was new cabinet share items. So you can make you can make those whatever you'd like those to be. Um, we have documentation on how to set this up and we'll provide that to anybody who needs it. Um, the main thing I like is the ability to put your own logo or, or uh, graphic image and description on the portal so when your customers log in they're going to see your branding. Let me scroll down here to the bottom and cancel. So to get to that setup, I logged in as administrator and I went to admin tools. Um, some other things you can do here uh, on this screen, um, we showed you how to save to safe. You can also save files out to Windows. And something that's very important is as you start using this system, your customers occasionally are going to fit their, they'll, they'll forget their login and password. And so it's very easy to resend. You go to um, that person in your um, chair tab, and under other, you can do a resend activation email. That'll send them a new email with a fresh username and password, and they can get into their account. So you don't have to go behind the scenes and do any um, significant setup work. You just do resend activation email, and they'll get that.
I want to talk a little bit about the address book. So how do we get the address book set up? You can see all the items I've shared, but how did I get these email addresses in here? If I click on address book, each user again, as I mentioned, has their own address book in Share. And you can see here I've got list of people as well as groups. Um, you can get these uh, addresses into your address book manually by typing them in here in this top section and adding new contacts or you can import uh, from an ASCII file. You could, in that case, I would click delimited interface, load plugin, and it's just going to let you browse out to that file. So it's easy to get your address book into the system initially. You can see I didn't have any data, so it told me there was no data to report. Once you get uh, addresses in, it's also very easy to create groups. You would just pick group selection, name your group, and then pick the people you want in that group. So very, very easy user interface and setting up your address book. The only point I would make here is that this is a, a separate address book that's going to be that's going to reside in Safe to to be used with Share. So there is a little bit of setup on the front end. When you're done, you would just save changes, and you're done with that part of the system. So that's a quick overview of Share, some of the capabilities and features, along with a little bit of training on how to get things set up. Uh, obviously, your uh, your reseller or here we here at Cabinet would be happy to help you with any more training and hope that you will look into using Share for your business. Thank you.